Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to compare between 33 raised to the power of 44 versus 44 raised to the power of 33. We are going to find out which of these numbers is actually the bigger number. Now, let's recopy this. We have 33 raised to the power of 44. Then we have versus 44 raised to the power of 33. Now, we can decide to multiply this exponent by this 1 divided by 11. And we do the same thing here this one divided by 11. Now, as usual, if you have a raised to the power of n or raised to the power of n, this equals a raised to the power of n times n. That means we are going to multiply these two exponents. We will multiply these two exponents. That means we are going to have 33 raised to the power of, if you multiply 44 times 1 divided by 11, you are going to have 44 divided by 11. Faces the same thing here. We have 44 raised to the power of 33 divided by 11. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we will have 33 raised to the power of 44 divided by 11 is simply we have 4. Then we have faces here. We have 44 raised to the power of 33 raised to the power of 11. We have 3. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we can decide to rewrite this. This is 33. We can have it as 3 times 11 raised to the power of 4. Then we have faces. This is 44. We will have 4 times 11 raised to the power of 3. So we go again. Now, if you have a b or a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a raised to the power of c times b raised to the power of c. So we are going to apply this identity right here. That means we are going to have 3 raised to the power of 4 times 11 raised to the power of 4. Then we have faces. We do the same thing here. 4 raised to the power of 3 times 11 raised to the power of 3. So at this point, what we are going to do is we can express this 11 raised to the power of 4 as the summation of 3 and this exponent we can express it as the summation of 3 and 1. That means we will have 3 raised to the power of 4 times 11 raised to the power of 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, so we have faces. We do the same thing here. This 4 raised to the power of 3. This is already 11 raised to the power of 3, so we leave it. We have 11 raised to the power of 3. Now, at this particular point, we will apply this identity. If you have a raised to the power of n plus m. This equals a raised to the power of n times a raised to the power of n. So we apply this identity right here. That means we are going to have 3 raised to the power of 4 times 11 raised to the power of 3 times 11 raised to the power of 1. Faces 4 raised to the power of 3 times 11 raised to the power of 3. Now the next thing we are going to do is we can decide to divide each part by 11 raised to the power of 3. We divide this by 11 raised to the power of 3. So this will cancel this and this will cancel this. So we are now going to be left with 3 raised to the power of 4 times 11 versus 4 raised to the power of 3. Now, 3 raised to the power of 4 simply means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Then we have times 11 versus, meanwhile, 4 raised to the power of 3 simply means 4 times 4 times 4. And this will give you 81 times 11 faces. This is 64. So 81 times 11 will give you 891. And we have faces 64. So if you compare this, you discover that 891 is greater than 64. Meaning that this number here is greater than what we have here. And finally, if you get to the two numbers that you were comparing, that means this number here, 33 raised to the power of 44, is greater than 44 raised to the power of 33. So that is for this video. I believe you enjoyed this class. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like the video, drop a comment. If there's any point you don't understand, 
I will gladly give you an answer. Thank you and goodbye.